right, so let's take a look at constructing linear functions given a verbal description. So before we learn how to construct a linear function when given a verbal description, let's review the two forms that we're going to use. The first one is the slope-intercept form, and remember that is y equals mx plus b, m being your slope or your rate of change. So anytime you see like per or every other, that is your rate of change in that problem. And b is your initial starting point or your y-intercept. So whenever you see those items in a verbal description, we're going to use uh, the slope-intercept form. Also, we have standard form AX plus BY equals C, and that is used when you're relating two different items. So as an example, if you're relating um, apples and oranges or um, nickels and dimes, if you have two different items with no rate of change, that is when you're going to use standard form. All right, so let's go ahead and try some examples. All right, so this first example here says Javier begins to save for a new bicycle that costs $410. He already has $140 and plans to save $25 per week. So that per week should tell us something. Let W represent the number of weeks he has been saving and S of W represent the total amount of dollars that he has saved. And so if we want to write a function, so remember function notation, we have the f of x. So instead of um, y, we put f of x. All right. But we could still do mx plus b. So you're basically just replacing uh, y with f of x, or in this case, we're replacing it with s of w. So that is what we're going to start with. All right. So first... It says write a linear function that represents the total amount he has saved. So first, since he saves $25 per week, that is a weekly rate of change. And so we could write um, our term as 25W, all right, or 25 times W because that is $25 each week. So 25 times W, and that would be our rate of change or our slope. Next, he starts with $140 in the bank, so that is the initial value. So remember, the initial value is the y-intercept, which is your b. So in this case, m is our slope or our rate of change, and that would be the 25w. And the $140 is our initial value, and that would be um, our b or our y-intercept. So W is the number of weeks he has been saving. S of W is the total amount of money. So we will replace that with our function notation there. So our problem we could write, or our equation we could write, would be S of W is equal to $140 plus uh, 25 times W. All right, to make it look a little more simple without those dollar signs and to write it um, how we see slope intercept form, we could also write it this way. S of W is equal to $25 per week or 25W plus 140. So we don't really need those dollar signs. So that way we could clearly see that that 25 is our slope or our rate of change or our M. And that 140 is our initial um, value or our B or our Y intercept. All right, so we've written that equation uh, or that function. All right, so let's look at B. It says, well, let me just box this in so either one of these will work. All right, so let's look at B. It says, how long will he need to save to have enough money to buy the bicycle? And so W represents the amount of weeks, right? So since he needs $410 to buy, the bicycle, we can substitute 410 for his total amount of dollars, S of W, that he needs. Okay, so that W just here just represents the amount of weeks, but 410 represents that total amount, which would be right here. So we replace S of W with 410, 
All right, and we're just going to solve this, and I'm just going to rewrite it here. 410 equals 140 plus 25W. And again, we're replacing it with S of W because that is the total amount that he has, and we don't have the weeks. So if we were given the weeks, then we would have plugged it in for W, but we were given the total amount of money. So I'm just going to solve this for W, subtract 140, so regular two-step equation. I get 270 equals 25W, dividing through by 25. That gives me 10.8. So W is 10.8, all right? But it says how many weeks... Um, uh, well, it says how long will he need to save, basically. So we're going to just round up to 11 weeks, all right? So he will need to save for 11 weeks if he makes $25 per week um, to get the bicycle. So my answer here is 11 weeks. So let's take a look at example two here. It says Kendra is planning her school's uh, talent show. Musicians get three minutes each to perform, and dancers get two minutes each to perform. The entire show must be a total of 99 minutes. So another word for total is equal. But notice here we have two different item, items or two different things that we're discussing, um, or two different types of professions, rather. So we have musicians, all right, and we have dancers. We don't have a rate of change, so that tells us that we need to use standard form. All right, so first we want to define each variable. We can use M for musicians and D for a number of dancers. You can use any variable, but it's always just easier to use what the, um, the actual item starts with. And we want to write a linear, linear function that represents Kendra's options for scheduling the acts in the talent show. That linear function would simply be 3m plus 2d equals 99 because musicians get three minutes each, so three times m. And dancers get two minutes each, so two times d. There is a total of 99 minutes, so equals 99. And so that is our linear function. All right, so let's take a look at this example here. It says Andre has just joined a new uh, CrossFit club in Winter Park. He wants to lose a total of 45 pounds. So that is his goal. He has been losing an average of 10 pounds per month. So that per should tell us something that is a rate of change or a slope, right? So it says write a function to represent the number of pounds he has left to lose after M number of months. So we can let M represent the amount of months um, he has been losing weight. And F of M will be our function notation, and that would be the pounds he has left to lose before meeting his goal. So we want to write a function um, using this uh, information. And that function would be F of M equals 45, okay? 45 pounds because that is his initial starting point, okay? And then he loses, and so that is why we have a minus here. Loses 10 pounds per month, so 10 times m. So that would be our function notation, or our linear function for this problem. Now we want to graph the function. And so as you can see over my head here, uh, we've graphed this function. Let me turn off my camera so you can see it. All right, so our initial point which is our y-intercept, right? Our y-intercept is 45. And if it helps you to see it this way, we could do negative 10m plus 45. So our b, which is our y-intercept, and negative 10 would be our slope. All right, so 45, we start at 45 because that is our y-intercept. Our slope is negative 10. So as we can see, our y-axis is going by uh, fives, and so we count down five, 10. So that would be 10, 
and then of course rise over run that would be 10 over 1 because we always have to put 1 underneath um, that whole number so again down 10 so right here that's 5 10 and over 1 so we've graphed 5 10 over 1 all right and so this is the graph of this function 45 minus 10 m okay so we've reached the end of our lesson i want to thank you for learning with me some related videos are comparing properties of two functions as well as graphing a line in slope intercept form and if you haven't already please like comment share and subscribe and once again i would like to thank you for learning with me